Welcome to TechPress. Let's dive into how you can create a subdomain for your domain inside Namecheap. Subdomains are an excellent way to organize your website or test new features without affecting your main site. Whether you are running a blog, an e-commerce store, or a personal portfolio, this tutorial will guide you through creating a subdomain into Mailchimp. So let's get started. Understanding the subdomains. A subdomain is a separate entity on the domain to domain acting like a distant website. For example, blogs.yourdomain.com is a subdomain for yourdomain.com. They're great for organizing different sections of your site. First, ensure you have a domain registered with Namecheap in order to get started. So accessing the domain list. In your Namecheap dashboard, what you want to do is to go into domains. Once you are into domain section, you see the registered domains Find the domain you wish to create a subdomain for and click into Manage. In my case, what I want to do is to go into my account directly into my dashboard. And here, what I want to do is to get started with this one. This will take you to the domain management area here. Let's create the subdomain. In the domain management area, you want to navigate into advanced DNS into the into the upper side of the POS here. Now here, you'll find the option to add new records. We'll be adding a subdomain by creating a new DNS records. Click into add new record, which is here. Now let's set up the DNS records for your subdomain. For the record type, select a record for the subdomain which points to an IP address. Into the host field, enter the desired subdomain, for example, blog, store, whatever. Let's type blog. And here, into the value field, enter the IP address of your hosting server. Saving and testing the subdomain. After entering your details, save your changes. Remember the DNS changes can take a while to propagate across the internet. Once the changes are live, test your new subdomain by typing it into your browser. It is important to test the subdomain to show it's correctly set up and pointing to your content. And that is it, guys. You have successfully created a subdomain for your domain into Namecheap. Subdomains can significantly improve the organization and functionality of your website. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Express for more insightful guides. Have any questions or tips about creating subdomains, you can share them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we wish you success to your new subdomains. Stay tuned to Express for more tutorials guys. See you next video.